Francis and Leo here with our five meter Danshell bell tent. Got it this summer and had it up for about probably two months consecutively. And as most people find out, as they have bell tents, that eventually what happens is you get this mold that forms on the canvas. Um, I didn't do any waterproofing. I just had it naturally from what they um, sold me with. So it's not too bad. There's definitely a few panels that have a bit more, especially the ones that are kind of in the shade. And so I'm gonna be using a product called Wet and Forget um, to deal with the mold. And got one bird poop that I wipe, try to wipe off with a piece of grass. We'll see how that one goes. Um, it's not horrible, but again, just wanna stay on top of it so that it doesn't get to be a really bad case of mold. So it's a nice tent and I love it and I'd love to keep using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with this wet and forget that I've got. He was gonna keep his distance, but for the most part, it's not doesn't have any bleach in it, which is nice. And um, yeah, you can do a bunch of other research on it, but I picked this up at Walmart and I'm gonna test it out and see how it goes. All right, so we are back just about I don't know, a week and two days, I'd say, from last time. This is what we've got left over. And there's definitely been improvements as far as um, just, yeah, the general appearance. If you look really closely, you'll see a little bit. Like I know I'm gonna come back and I'm going to retouch that spot. Um, probably the biggest place, I just rewatched the video from the first time I did it, was over here. It was a bird poop that had come, and maybe I can do a side-by-side, -side, but this guy, I mean, obviously there's something still there, but a lot of work has been done, and this has only been one week. So I'm kind of crunched on time. I'm gonna go ahead and give this kind of a second specialty spray around the bottom and any other place that I think um, has a little bit of dirt and grime and whatnot. And we'll see, hopefully it'll take care of it. So part two application begins now. We are back the very next day. So all of the work that I did yesterday of touching up for those second applications with a little squirt gun, uh, wet and forget, there won't be any difference today. However, I went ahead and splurged. So I got this little guy as well as a concentrate bottle of the wet and forget. It makes six gallons and I just mixed up. It's empty. Oh, it's just about empty. I mixed up about a gallon of it and was able to cover the entire bell tent, like actually soak it, which the squirt gun never did. And also I was able to get to the tippity top because this guy has a little um, adjuster. So between the two of those, this was around 25 and the concentrate bottle was around 35. So together that's 60 bucks. But like I said, I only used one of those gallons, which means every time I clean the tent, it's just 10 bucks. Whereas that little squirt one was around 18. So I'm basically set for the next six years, or five, because I just did this season, and I only plan to do it once a year. Uh, leave this guy up now that it is fully soaked. I'm very excited and I feel good about it. We'll take it down hopefully before the first snowfall, try to keep it as dry as possible, and then set it up next year. And my plan is to get an actual um, cover for the top, like a canopy that's waterproof. Uh, just because otherwise you have to um, re-waterproof it year after year after year and I think there's another option out there. Don't know quite what it is yet but those are the plans and maybe if I can get Colin to take a video he can show you where those kind of stubborn moldy spots were. I don't know maybe it's just my head but already it seems so nice and clean. Oh no there you can see some of it. Not too bad. It was only up for about two, three months. Um, learning year by year. So, see you next time. Back again to the bell tent. And it has been officially three weeks since I did my first application and almost two since I did the second more kind of full complete one. And I can definitely say that this tent is looking pretty sharp. Uh, usually they tell you to leave it up for a month or two, um, but I unfortunately don't have the luxury of time.
time with winter coming. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy down, pack it away, and then before next season, um, waterproof it. And Leo's very upset because he wants to go chase the sheep.